Um, and I uh, started out in the engineering program, now I've moved to the product planning end for the last uh, probably 10 years now. And this is the year of the truck and it started and, uh, and will actually end this year with the Titan itself. We launched the original, uh, or the Titan XD uh, in <coughs> December of this year and we will be going through all of the SUVs and CUVs that Dan just mentioned and then we're going to also finish up with some more Titan uh, models and configurations as we go on. We have regular cab and king cabs and V6s and all of that kind of thing that will be coming out. So just to kick off and just talk about the big picture, and this is between the Titan and the Titan XD, um, both constantly asked or continually asked, what are the four or what are the key things that you have in the truck that you wanted to make it successful? And there were four items that we identified. First was the styling of the truck, and I've said this many times that if you don't get the styling right, it really makes or breaks the truck because nobody wants to drive around in an ugly truck. And so styling was very key to it. And that meant getting down to the tough and rugged styling that customers are looking for, but also working on the interior to make sure the, make sure the interior is a very refined interior and high quality interior to go along with the tough and rugged exterior. The second most important item is quality. Quality is actually the top purchase reason or decision reason why a customer chooses one truck over another. And so we had to identify how do you uh, show a customer what quality is. Normally quality you know over years, but we need to show that at point of purchase. And so a couple of those areas are the perceived quality of the vehicle, the type of materials we use, and the colors that we use, and the harmony of the vehicle on the inside. But the other areas is larger components. And so when you look underneath the Titan, you'll see bigger brakes and bigger axles and bigger components. And that tells the customer again that we have a a durability story here and that we have a, a strong quality and I'll talk a lot about that towards the end. And then there's the overall goodness of the vehicle and basically this comes down to us talking with the engineers about performance. It's about how do we exceed it. We, we didn't come into this saying we're going to set best in class for everything or, or, or top in class for everything but we will have some areas that we will be top in class and we'll talk about those but the key is not to make any mistakes. Don't make trade-offs like great acceleration but poor fuel economy, or great handling but poor ride comfort. We want to make sure that this vehicle has an overall good feel in all aspects of the truck for the customer. Third is powertrain. We already talked about the uh, diesel engine before on the XD, and now we also are launching our gas engine. This is our V8 gas. I'll go into a lot of detail on that, but that's the heart and soul of any truck for the buyer. And then lastly, what we needed to do with this truck is to make sure that we've expanded the market coverage. When we launched the original Titan, we covered about 55% of the segment. With this next generation Titan, we're going to be covering over 85% of the segment. That means we've added more chassis to the vehicle. We actually have two chassis, the Titan and the Titan XD. The Titan XD is over 8,500 GVW chassis. Is built for those looking for more capacity and capability. And then we have the under 8,500 chassis. We've also added regular cap to the truck, and we'll talk about that this evening. And we also added a V6 engine that'll be coming a little bit later on. We added the V8 diesel engine. So a lot of configurations, because in a segment over two and a half million people per year, they're all looking for a little bit something unique. And I, and I know I've talked to a couple of you before, and I said it's very difficult to find the same two trucks on the road. When a truck guy buys a truck, first thing he does is he customizes it, makes it a little bit his own. You'll find a, a, bed, a, a bed system in it, or whether it's a spray and bed liner or a toolbox, or you'll see they put on a, a wind deflector on it. They'll do something to customize it. Well, that means that we have to also have configurations in our lineup that matches up with their core needs. So when we look at the, the family, what we're talking about today is the half ton, but I'm going to go a little bit through what we've already launched. When we launched the Titan XD, in December, and that has our diesel engine. That's the customer looking for higher towing capability, hauling capability, and a diesel engine. But we know that not everybody is a diesel buyer. So we came out with the same XD chassis, but now it comes with a V8 engine that you're gonna be seeing today in the half ton. Now the half ton truck that you're gonna drive today is the everyday truck. It makes up probably around 75% of the full size pickup truck segment is the half ton segment. So now, You'll see this vehicle will excel for your everyday truck. Power, powertrain, acceleration, feel, ride, comfort, handling, all of these are key aspects of driving a half-ton truck that makes that important, along with its towing capability and hauling capability. So when we get into, this is, uh, you'll, you'll all get this 
material, so I'm not going to go through everything here, but we launched this or debuted this at the New York Auto Show uh, earlier this year. Um, this is our volume model, um, and this comes on a completely different chassis. I can't say that enough. It's a completely different chassis than the XD truck. Those of you that have had the opportunity to drive it, uh, the XD truck, you'll notice they don't feel the same. Directionally, we want them to feel similar as a family of Nissan trucks, but because of the capability difference between these two trucks, you're going to feel a difference in ride comfort, a difference in handling, a difference in acceleration feel, the difference in, in sound. Everything will be a little bit different because the chassis don't share a single bolt and they're built differently for the customer needs. One built for heavy hauling, hauling and towing and one built for everyday kind of use. We'll get through the, uh, the rest of this material as we go through the deck. Um, the the uh, single cab, team cab, and crew cab will all come out on both the half ton and the XD trucks. So just a couple uh, dimensional looks at the difference between the trucks. Basically what I can tell you is that from a wheelbase standpoint and overall length, you're looking at about a foot difference between these two trucks. And that's where we've extended it and we've added a standard on the crew cab. XD has a six and a half foot bed and the half ton truck has a five and a half foot bed standard. So it's about that one foot <coughs> difference between these two trucks. From a, uh, an overall width standpoint, they're exactly the same because they share the same body caps and, and bed outers, for that matter, also, if you get the six and a half on the half time, which comes with the king cap. But an overall height, as I said before, the XD kind of has about a two and a half inch lift on it. It's, it's got a higher chassis to the XD, and that's because of the capability of the payload is higher, so we've raised the chassis, and the overall height would then go up also with that. So that, those are the key differences between the XD and the Titan. Now what you will see is that we try to style them very similar. This is a Titan truck right here. I'm going to go through a couple of these with you, starting with the styling and aerodynamics enhancements that we've done on the truck. Now you'll see the front end, we wanted them to look similar. I've said to a couple of you that once you have a styling that we really, that we really wanted, we didn't want to make two trucks and try and appeal to two different types of customers from a styling standpoint. So we try to make them look similar. But there are some key differences. Because the chassis and frame are different, the bumper is different. Because the point where those attach makes it so that we can't commonize the front bumpers. But we did make them look very similar. The grill is different and the hood's different. And that's because to accommodate the diesel engine on the XD, we had to raise the hood. The deck height on the diesel engine is taller than a V8 gas, and so we raised that up. So we had to change those parts the headlamps are the same, and we try to make the overall impression very much the same between the Titan and the XD. Now, we still have the LED headlamps to give it that, that kind of uh, animalistic look to the vehicle. And we also have the puddle lamps and a lot of the other uh, items that you saw on the XD are also available on the Titan truck. From an aerodynamics, though, we improved from the outgoing Titan to the new one by over 10%. Key area that we were looking at on this truck is to seal off the front of the vehicle. And you're improving a, a, you know, this is basically a brick coming down the road, and so we have to improve the aerodynamics of this because we have a strong cooling performance that we need. Key point to getting the airflow up and under the truck is to seal the front end off. So we've added active grill shutters, we've done bumper seals, we've covered up all the holes in the front where you have tow hooks and everything else. We, we try to close those holes off as best we can to push the air up and over the truck and we've added the undercovers and bed seals. This arrow should be here. But um, the bed seals, and that's to drive the airflow around it or under the truck to give us a better aerodynamics. Also, little things that people don't always think about is the wheel facing on the front. The, the more you pull out the wheel facing on the side, you're now getting more airflow around. We also saw big improvements by adding the tailgate spoiler and the roof spoiler, which you'll see here at the Chinzo area. You'll see a spoiler up there. All of these were attentions to detail on how we can improve the aerodynamics of the Titan truck. Now, if we move on to the powertrain and its capabilities, you'll see a brand new uh, for the Titan endurance engine, not the same engine as the previous generation uh, V8 engine. Actually, I don't see Dave Kiesel in the room right now. Dave Kiesel, one of our engineers from Powertrain Group is here. He'll be on the ride with you this week and you can ask them a lot of questions about this. Basically, the top end is different. Um, this is our variable valve. 
and our DAG is added to the V8, but we also added new piston designs, intakes, exhaust. Like I said, this is a completely new engine. Same displacement, but new engine compared to the outgoing model. Again, to improve our fuel economy and acceleration both. We're not trading one off for another. I'll talk about that in a few minutes. This is our torque curve. And interestingly enough, when we concepted this, uh, we basically took a line and drew that and said, please make that torque curve for us um, because that's where we want to improve upon. I mean, we had the, the, the outgoing Titan, it's still, if you get a chance to drive with it, it's still a very powerful V8 engine. But we wanted to improve our low end torque at the end, and we also didn't want it to fall off as fast. And so we went back to the engineers and said, please try and make that. And you can see they've done a very good job. This is our actual data for our torque curve. So they've done a great job of giving us the low end torque, but also at the higher end, at the higher RPMs, not letting it fall off as quickly as the previous generation. This gives us great low end torque for towing, and also gives us good passing power on the highways. So, to have Matt up to the engine, we have our new Jacto 7 speed transmission. And the key points, I think I'm going to use this side, I'm sorry, because it's closer to me. The key thing is to widen the ratio. And you guys will have this in the deck, but to widen the ratios of your transmission. Before, we had a first gear 3.8. We've now gone to a 4.8. That gives you your low end pull power when you're pulling a trailer or you're starting off the line. But we also expanded to give ourselves a 0.77. So when you're on the highway speed, you're also dropping your RPMs for a better fuel economy when you're on the highway. But by having seven gears in there, we're also able to find in your city driving the right gear for a lower RPM to better your fuel economy while you're driving. Or on the other case, if you go high demand, you have the right gear to give you more power to the wheels by finding the right gear. Um, another item that we added on this one that we didn't have on that previous <coughs> was the AT warmer. This bypass valve was added so that we can, when the transmission is cold, we can bypass and send the fluid, the oil, back through into the engine until it warms up and then the valve opens up and then we can run it through the cooling system to get it, to keep it at the optimum temperature. That little bit of help so that when you're starting a cold vehicle, you're able to get your fuel economy improvement quicker with this than uh, the previous design that we had. Now, big uh, item was the fuel economy. So we've improved, improved our fuel economy nearly 30% from the outgoing model to the incoming. At a 15, 21, 18, this is our four-wheel drive, two cab fuel economy, okay? A lot of times, and, and this is a, a big number, it's not as impressive as when I talk about rogues in their 30s, but basically to a full-size truck, this is best in class. I mean, and a lot of people pay an extra $1,500 to get a turbo engine to get the same amount at the same power. This is our standard V8 engine. So this is a, a big win for our engineers to pull through and come into this fuel economy. And that goes back to all those items I just talked about on how we got there. Now with that, we still maintain our top in class V8 base grade towing. So these are all V8 trucks here in the base condition. Our towing's at just under 9,400 pounds of towing standard on our trucks. And then we move into the handling, steering, ride comfort. This is really what you're going to see today and why we chose this location. When you come out and you hit the, the uh, uh, out of the resort here, you're going to start hitting a lot of windy roads. You're going to hit a lot of rough asphalt surfaces, and you're going to hit some grade climbs. And all of this, all of this, is to show off our handling, steering, and ride comfort capability of the truck, along with quietness that I'll we'll talk about in just a few minutes. Chassis standpoint and frame, we, we kind of stuck with the let's keep it simple. If it's not broken, we're not going to fix it. We didn't want to go high tech in areas that we don't have to go high tech. But we wanted to make sure that in areas that we needed to improve, we did. So our, our suspension system, well, the first thing we had to do is that from a frame standpoint, we wanted to stiffen up the frame. And you'll see some trusses that we came across on here and a couple of the crossbars, uh, cross members we also stiffened up. And that gives us a stiffer suspension or frame to start with. The next thing we did is we retuned the, the uh, leaf springs and the coil springs in the front, which is carryover. From the previous generation, we just tuned them a little bit differently. And then we still have the steering system. It's the same as a rack and pinion. The Titan XD has a research ball. This is a rack and pinion. Completely different steering feel between the XD and the Titan. 
We tightened up the steering, made it a little bit quicker, but not too quick. You can't go to a sports car level or a sedan level of, of quickness on steering because these trucks still have to tow. If you were too quick, you would make it a little twitchy, and you'll induce a little bit of sway into your trailer. So we wanted to make sure that we could give it a nice, fun, drive feel on roads that you're going to see here, but without causing any kind of side effect while towing. Now, one area that we did go for uh, higher technology is in our cab mounts. In our cab mount area, we looked at the data and we felt that our previous generation had a little bit of what we called smooth road shake. Um, or Barubura shake is another uh, name that we call it. But basically, this is when you're going on a road like you're on today, you'll feel just a little bit of shakiness throughout the body. Or if you hit an expansion joint, which is very common in the LA area, you'll hit expansion joint and you'll get kind of an after shake. And so what we were looking to do is how can we improve that? One, we improve tires on this vehicle that takes that first mount out of that and kind of lessens it. But the second thing we did is we noticed throughout the data, the vibration level at about 90 kph, we found this little uh, step up here and the, and the engineer came back and said, yeah, that's really coming from our number three cab mount. And that's the one that goes right before you get into the bed mount underneath the rear of the cabin. And they said, the only way we're going to be able to fix this is go to a higher tech uh, cab mount to get that out. So we went with what's called the hydraulic cab mount, where it's a fluid filled cab mount. You see the design of it. If you crawl underneath, you'll see it. It's very prominent underneath. It's not small. It's big because it has fluid in there. But it does, as you can see from the actual data, cut that right out. And so now, when you're driving this vehicle, these are pretty rough roads. And you're going to feel a lot of that shakiness is coming out. It's coming out of going into the body. If it gets into the body, it gets into the seat, gets into the seat, gets into the human. So that's what we're trying to get it out, stop that trail of that vibration before it gets up into the seat. From an MPH standpoint, this is what I've heard from the first wave that came through. They very much notice the quietness on this truck. It's extremely quiet. We've, we're actually now best in class for uh, quietness. Key thing is laminated side glass. Get rid of wind noise. That's what it's trying to do. It'll get away from, and we have some big tow mirrors on this, and we've whispered quiet those. So you carry on a very easy conversation back and forth while in this car, in this truck. The other item that we did is we increased the engine isolation to a three-layer dash insulator. And this is going on the, on the front side of the dash panel. You're now going to go into a larger dash panel to quiet out the engine noise. So the engine itself was slightly quieter from the previous generation, but now we've actually added more insulation to even make it even more quiet. And then to get rid of the road noise coming up from, this, uh, from the road to the tires, we've increased 45% improvement in our uh, bed, uh, cabin ceiling. It's kind of hard to see from this, but all this yellow lines on here, these are all ceiling applications that goes to the body before we lay down the carpet. And this ceiling then closes off any airway path or pathways, not really airway pathways, but pathways for noise to come through the cab. And so by doing that, we've now improved our road noise, we've improved our engine isolation, and we've improved our, in, our uh, wind noise all throughout the vehicle to make the quiet truck out. Um, so this is just a summary. Again, we want to make a competent and fun to drive truck um, throughout the scenes that you're driving here today. This is really where it's going to show off in these drives today. And then lastly, utility and the driving aids. A lot of this who have, who have been with the XD are going to see very common components between them. They share bed technology, so the spray and bed liner, the bed illumination in the bed is all there. The Titan box is there. The underseat storage. These are all items that Brent Hagen, who just walked out, will be giving you a, a, a walk around up on the off-road course today. He'll show you these in more detail. But this is just kind of a summary. When we launched the first generation, these items right here, um, in, this, in this column right here, most of these were what we called unique selling points, unique to the segment, no one else had them. Most of those set the standard for what our competitors started to add later on in life and now equal to us in some areas. But now that we add the, the next generation Titan, we've added even more to that list where we have our bed light and our interior floor uh, system that we have even more items to the truck to give it more utility and cargo. Uh, <clears throat> capability. Other driving aids, we're not towing this week, but we uh, of course have our suite of backup cameras, our downhill speed control, trailer light check, the same light check system that we had on the XD, 
integrated trailer brake controller and our trailer sway control was all available on the half ton Titan. Along with our around view monitor, um, this is the 360 bird's eye view of the truck and you'll get to use this on the off-road course using the front camera button while you're going on it. The camera actually shows your front right corner so a lot of the corners that you're going to go on in the off-road uh, terrain, it's great to see that without having a spotter to get out. Of course, front and rear sonar, blind spot warning, and our Nissan Connect. We have Denise here. I think I saw her right back here. Denise is here. Any questions on Nissan Connect? Uh, she's here to answer those questions. And then we get into the grade walk. Very similar, consistent to the XD. When it comes to the customer coming onto the lot, we want them to make the decision between an XD and a Titan based on the capabilities and how they're going to use the truck, not what equipment they can get on one truck versus the other. And so we start off with the same S grade, which is our work truck, and we're announcing on pricing that we're under $35,000 for a two-wheel drive crew cab S grade truck. Um, and then we have the SD grade, which is what we call our popular um, configuration. And then we have, and that just means that it's the more common, the higher mix version. And then we have our Pro 4X, and Pro 4X has actually been uh, one of our top sellers right now on the XD. This is the one that customers are asking for the most, and it's one that the dealers are scrambling to get uh, as many as they can. And then our SL grade is our near luxury uh, first half of, of leather. And then we have the Platinum Reserve, which is our top end truck. Um, I think many of you are familiar with that truck um, that we have. So very similar, uh, if not the same content between Titan and XD. And then um, on sale late August, and then the pricing announcement will be August 15th. And before we announce that, uh, we have one more kind of big announcement um, that we're making today. And this is uh, something that we're very proud of. I talked about how important quality was, and a lot of people have said, well, if you're going to you know, if you're going to tout your quality, you need to put your money where your mouth is on that. And how are you going to prove to us that you have the top level of quality? Well, we're doing just that. And, and, and I'll talk about the new warranty that we have for the Titans and the XDs both. This will be embargoed until the 15th. Um, but we will have the first in the industry five-year, 100,000-mile warranty, bumper to bumper. This isn't a powertrain. It's everything bumper to bumper on the truck, five year, 100,000. We're standing behind our word that the quality on this truck is top notch and we're there to, to back it up. So this is a big deal. Um, to my knowledge, never been done in the full size pickup truck segment um, in all the years they've been selling them. So we're standing behind it with our quality for this truck. This is something that we, we started with our LCV division. Our large vans have the same warranty um, because again, we stand behind the quality on our, on our full size vans and trucks.